Over the last 3,000 days, we've built a couple of pretty cool areas. We've got a nice village island type thing. We've got our tiny epic garden. But now it's time to start something brand new. And I have alluded to this in previous episodes, but what we're going to be doing is essentially making a giant industrial area that's also going to be some kind of a modern city of some kind. And that's all going to take place on this island right here. So I guess we need to head over there first. We're currently here. But what I need to do is clear all of the trees. These islands are absolutely covered in trees. So first things first, let's head over there with our axe and a whole bunch of shulker boxes. And I guess we're going to restock our wood supplies too. And once we've done that, we'll go into a little bit more detail about what our plans are, what we're going to be building over there. I'm stuck in my lift. There we go. And we may even get to start some builds today as well. Who knows? So this is our island. This is where we're going to be building. However, I do need to clear the trees and we're going to have to do loads of terraforming as well just before we can even start building. So I'm starting to think that maybe this episode is going to be a whole lot of terraforming maybe not that much building after all And about three hours later, we finally have a completely clear couple of islands. And that gives us a much better idea of the space and the terrain we're working with. Although we are going to be making some adjustments to the terrain. Certain bits like this, you know, we're going to smooth out. We're going to get rid of some of these holes and so on. But before we do that, I do actually want to link this up via the nether. And I think the first area we're probably going to be building is actually over here in the savannah bit. But uh, yeah, we'll get to that build shortly. First up, let's just dump down a nether portal. It doesn't need to be too precise at the moment. Let's just stick it up here. And then we're going to light this portal. And then we're just going to go to the nether, I think. So we're going to fly all the way back to our tiny epic garden. And then we're going to get this portal connected up. And that should make things a lot easier. Because I think after that, as much as I really know I need to do terraforming over there, I think we're actually just going to do a little bit of terraforming over here, primarily to get rid of that hole. And we're going to do our first little build here, which is pretty much the only build over here that's not going to have a farm inside it. But we'll come back to that shortly. First off, let's go get connected. But thankfully, it's not too far, only about 150 blocks or so. Let's see how we get on. So it looks like this is the spot. So let's just jam a portal in here. And I'm actually going to dig out the back there as well, because I think it might be worth linking up to our sort of main portal. I'm reluctant to use the word hub, but uh, where are sort of a starter island portal is i'm struggling to use my words apparently let's try that again so the portal's in it's in the right place and if we dig out this way it should link us back to our starter island there we go that was much better but first up let's just check that this links to the right place wish me luck well it certainly does but it's also night time so we should probably leave straight away again for now we don't have any torches over here whatsoever so i think for now i'm just gonna dig out the rest behind the portal as well see if we can't get this linked up to the starter island well it's a bit of a shoddy link up but it'll do for now however if we go out here and just follow these lanterns this will actually take us to the tunnel entrance which is yeah not ideal but once again we don't really have the time to do anything in the nether just now we'll get to that at some point in future and the reason we don't have a proper nether hub or anything up till now is basically down to indecisiveness i can't decide exactly what i actually want to do with the nether hub i've got quite a few ideas and i think they could all work quite well but some of them involve basically building on the nether roof and not really building down here at all. Others just, they're going to take a lot of work. And YouTube and the nether are not the best of friends because of YouTube compression. So, yeah, still, still undecided at the moment. But we'll get there eventually. But for now, we've got more important things to do, like making a start over here. And the first thing I need to do, really, well, at least now we've got rid of the trees, is probably just fly a bit further away so we can despawn those mobs. We don't need those lurking around. But I think what we're going to do is just terraform this area a little bit, make it a little bit more usable, and we're going to get our first build down here, which is actually going to be something we can use for storage for while we're over here building. Because, of course, we do have our massive storage center, which is all well and good, but we still need some localized storage, especially considering the size of this project and how long we're going to be building over here. And I've got a couple of ideas of what we might do for that, but for now, let's just get this area tidied up a little bit. Let's get rid of this massive hole and, well, generally just make it a little bit nicer to build on. It's a bit all over the place, really, at the moment, isn't it? <laughs> It's not perfect, but it's good enough for now. We will, of course, integrate all of this into the rest of the build as we go. But for now, we just wanted this small flat area over here because it's time for us to start our first build. And because we're going to be building a city, let's jump into free cam and take a look. 
This area is absolutely massive. We're going to be having big skyscrapers everywhere. We're going to have urban districts. We might even have some suburbs and things. Who knows? It kind of depends how big I end up making some of these, some of these farms, I guess. But let's not worry about the farms now because what we need is an area over here where we can store everything. And because we're building a city, I think it makes perfect sense to have some kind of a construction yard and treat that as our sort of temporary storage area type thing for why we're actually building over here. So what we're going to be doing is building a few shipping containers and maybe even some construction equipment as well. But first up, let's just try and get some shipping containers down and see if we can't sort out some storage, somewhere to sleep and probably somewhere to put the portal as well. So I think I want to put this first one right at the back here. So let's just get some feet down and figure out how big it's going to be, I guess. So I think size-wise, that should just about do the trick. Let's just get the rest of this built up and see how we're looking on the grand scale of things, I guess. So I think I'm happy with the size and shape of this thing. We just need to figure out a way to actually get inside. And I want to have some kind of gangway, I think. Some kind of metal type of platform that leads into it. I think that's going to be kind of building sighty. Let's see what we can pull off here, shall we? So first up, let's just try dumping some iron railings on here and see how that looks. Maybe we can put an andesite wall in there as a support. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. It looks a little bit feeble around here, though. So maybe we need to reinforce this. There we go. I think that'll do the job. We can get to it from both sides and we'll make it look a little bit fancier and so on and get some texture on and some other bits around to sort of blend it in a bit better. But I think for the shape and size, that should work quite nicely. I've also added a couple of fake doors on the entrance here, but on the inside, we have lots and lots of space. And I think what we're probably going to do is move the portal over to here because, well, it's just dangerous up there, isn't it? If it gets dark, there's going to be creepers in there and all sorts. But we'll also get a couple of workstations in here and also a bedroom of some kind. So we've got somewhere to rest our weary head after a long day's work. But before we get to all of that... I think I do actually want to lay out where I want the storage container to be as well, which I think might actually be at an angle over here, potentially. Should we do an angled storage room? I mean, we could put an angled storage room in a storage crate, but it certainly wouldn't be the first time we've done something like that because on Legacy, we did actually have, well, a very similar storage crate to that one as well, actually thinking about it. But we had a couple of storage crates as our main base. So I guess we could just take a leaf out of that book and build a small storage unit over here. It did work quite well after all. Question is, do I want to do another green container or do I want to swap it out for a different color? I think... I think maybe we'll make this one green as well. And then if we add any more for any particular reason, which we may or may not be doing, then we can do those in a different color. Yeah, let's do this one green as well. So this one's going to be a bit trickier to work out. So let's lay out roughly where we want it first. We can raise it up off the ground afterwards, I guess. But I think that's probably going to be big enough. It's going to be a little bit bigger than that container, but that should do the trick. How much bigger than that container is it? Ah, that'll be fine. It won't stand out too much. So I guess we need to work out where the feet are going to go, which will probably be here. And now let's get this container built up. We will remove that bottom layer of green concrete afterwards. For now, let's just get it built. Right, well, that's coming along nicely. I think we're going to put a doorway here. we just got to once again build another platform out the front. We'll follow the same style, but it's on an angle. So, yep, this could be interesting. There we go. That's the slightly bigger one in place as well. I think the stairs are going to work nicely. We can easily get up and into storage. Although, obviously, at the moment, it is not storage. It's just a big, empty container, as is this one here. So, I guess we need to make them look nice. Maybe get them into the landscape and blend it in a little bit better. Certainly need to do lots of terraforming around the outside. And, of course, we need to make these look a bit old and knackered. Because currently, they're just a little bit shiny and new. And that'll never do. The question is, where do I even begin? Jeez. So, I've just added a little bit of a roof on these things. Partly to spawn-proof them, but also just to give it a bit of variation. And to be honest, I think that actually looks a lot better than I expected, although I've just left floating blocks everywhere. Let's go pick those up, shall we? So next up, let's see what we can do to make these things look a little bit older. I think texturing is going to be in order. What have we got? So to mix this up, we have some green terracotta, we have moss blocks, we have green wool, we have the green concrete powder, and we have some lime terracotta. And I guess the green concrete probably fits in somewhere around here and that's what we've built the majority of it out of so this is what we're going to be using to try and mix it up we're going to have some darker patches down the bottom we might even have some bits from the top there to make it look like it's all been raining and drizzling down 
and it's getting really dark. Is it raining? No, it's getting dark. And, and maybe it's raining as well. Who knows? There we go. That's better. Right. So where do we want to start? If these are the darker ones, I feel like we want to have some of these maybe at the top. Let's just do a little experiment on this corner, shall we? So what I've established is I can get away with making stuff lighter, but darker is just not really working out too well. So I need to see if we can find something that's going to go well with the green terracotta there. Well, yeah, that is green terracotta, isn't it? Hmm. I wonder. So what I'm wondering is, if we go into storage, let's go have a look at our blocks over here. I'm wondering if potentially we could use kelp blocks, although they do have that white line on them. That could be quite annoying. But other than that, I don't think there's really anything that's green or even slightly... I mean, we could... Are we going to get away with that? We try some cyan terracotta. I don't think that's going to work, though. But there's not really much else here we can try and use that would be fairly dark. All the other green blocks are just way too bright. Even, even the copper, it's, uh, yeah, the cyan is not going to work either. What other choices are there, potentially? Um, nothing. I don't think there's anything, is there? I mean, mossy cobble's going to be too light as well. Melons are going to be no good whatsoever. Okay, let's try it out with a few of these kelp blocks. I mean, worst case scenario, we could be a little bit sneaky and potentially put that uh, vanilla tweaks thing on that actually removes the string from round kelp blocks. I don't know. Is that cheaty? Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe I mean, it is a texture change, but it's only a slight texture change. It's nothing major. I mean, some people play with different bedrock textures and all sorts, right? I mean, am I just trying to justify removing the string from the kelp blocks? <laughs> all right, so I'm not really feeling it. I mean, the darkness is nice, but those lines, that is absolutely awful. Let's see what it looks like without them. So without them, I do actually quite like it. But the problem is, 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 it, is it too dark now? Is it too dark? One sec. Let me, uh, let me see. I mean, even breaking up some of those lines. Yeah, I don't think this is going to work. Plus, it does feel a bit cheaty using that resource pack. So, yeah, I think we're just going to have to stick with what we've got and try and work something out. Jeez. Anyway, enough waffle about this. Let's see what I can come up with. And hopefully when I bring you back in, these are going to be looking a little bit better. All right, so I think that's working. And once we get all the detail on the outside and so on, I think that should actually come off quite well. I've also included a little bit of the cyan terracotta, and I think that quite works. It looks like it's been patched up and repaired at some point. I do quite like the way that has come out. However, we need to get lots of detailing on these bits. And hopefully... Once we do that and get some foliage around and sort out the terrain, this should all look quite nice. Just bear with me. I'm sure it's going to look fine when we're done, even if it does look a bit janky right now. Completed the first container. I think it's looking pretty good. I might have embedded it a little bit too much in the landscape, considering it's supposed to be a portable building, but I think it works quite well. We might strip it back a little bit as we go on. It depends, because we do have other things to put in here. We don't want it to be over-detailed, but we'll see how we get on. It is, of course, still empty, and we may or may not have had a visitor at some point, but we don't need to discuss that. Uh, we will sort out the interior afterwards, but first, I think I want to sort out this container as well and just see how they look together as a pair. I think they're looking pretty good, don't you? I do need a little bit more of this glow lichen, though. I didn't have any to actually put on this one. So I think something else we might actually do is try and squeeze some kind of glow lichen farm in there. But first things first, we need to do a few things. One is move the portal. But do I want to do a little bit more with the landscape first? Hmm, I think maybe I do, you know. And I think what I want to do is try and get up some kind of a retaining wall. Obviously, we have the one here that's sort of holding back the land, but I want to actually sort of encompass the sort of industrial area itself, I guess, and maybe even mark out where the road's going to go that's going to sort of pass in front of it. Right, 
but that's looking a bit more like a construction yard instead of just a couple of containers. Although it's probably maybe potentially a bit small. We might have to expand it a little bit. I don't, I don't really know. Although I suppose we've got plenty of space over here for some construction vehicles. But we'll get to that later. For now, I think what I want to do is sort out the interiors of these buildings. So this one over here... What I need to do is actually move the portal. It's really not in a good position up there at all. And I think what I want to do is actually just put it on this back wall here. And I should have some obsidian with me. Excellent. I reckon we can probably get away with just sort of putting it in the gaps in the walls here. And because we've got a roof, we should be able to take those out as well. Look at this. Marvellous. And there's no reason not to take out the floor as well, I guess. So, uh, yeah, beautiful. And I think I'm going to be sensible and destroy this portal first because they're close, which means they're probably going to link to the same one in the nether. And there's not going to be any other portals around here. So, in theory, I shouldn't need to move the one nether side but I guess this is the only way to find out. Well, let's hope for the best. Okay, it definitely came out in the same portal. Jeez. Right, let's get rid of all these. At least they're not creepers, I guess. It could be worse. And it brings us back to the right place too. Excellent. So let's have a think about this interior, shall we? I basically need a few things in here. So I think I'm just going to have to have a little potter around for a while and see what I can actually come up with in here to fit. I'll bring you back in once it looks good. A short while later, and I think we're actually done. So we have our portal over here on this side. On this side here, we have just a little bedroom with our bed looking lovely. And in the middle here, we have our glow lichen farm, which if I click that and just stand here, I can get loads and loads of like glow lichen nice and quickly, which is brilliant because we've also been using that a bit on the outside because it helps to break up the textures out here just a little bit. I've also sorted out the storage room over here, so I haven't actually figured out where everything's going to go yet. We do need a few more frames for some of these boxes as well, but there's plenty of room in here. So when we're actually over here building, building our big towers and building up our city, we can actually just have this as somewhere to store things and work from. Although I imagine we're going to be going back to our mega storage quite regularly as well because, well, we're going to be using a lot of stuff. This is just for the stuff that's kind of left over, I guess. And lastly, I've also just put a little bit more foliage around the sort of yard area here. As I say, we will build some construction vehicles over there, but I think that's going to have to be next episode. And lastly, I also stuck a couple of those cheeky little pine trees at the back there just because it was looking a little bit flat on the skyline. But I think that's a really good start for this area. We've cleared it all out. We've got lots of terraforming to do of course and we've got a base of operations we could probably do with a couple more trees and a couple less gaps in the top of that one let me quickly fix that there we go that's looking better marvelous so next episode we'll probably do a little bit more work on this yard we're going to sort out some construction vehicles for over here i've just got to figure out how to actually build them first so i expect i'm going to be messing around in creative for a little while but if you have enjoyed this video and want to know what this world is all about then do check out the video on screen now and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye now